Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about JK to D clip lock conversion. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about six clip lock conversions. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivasa Rao. Now in this video, how to convert JK flip-flop to D flip-flop in digital logic design course or a switching theory and logic design course or a digital electronics course. The first step to convert JK flip-flop to D flip-flop, the first step is we have to identify which flip-flop is available flip-flop and which flip-flop is required flip-flop. So among the two flip-flops, so JK flip-flop is the available flip-flop and D flip-flop is the required flip-flop. So that we have to mention available flip-flop is JK flip-flop and the required flip-flop is D flip-flop. So this is the first step. Then go for the second step and third step. In the second step, construct the characteristic table for the required flip-flop. Here what is the required flip-flop? D flip-flop. For that D flip-flop, we have to construct the characteristic table. In the characteristic table, external inputs of the required flip-flop. So, in the required flip-flop, D flip-flop, what is the input here? So, that is the D input. Next one is present state can be denoted by Q of T and the next state can be denoted by Q of T plus 1. So, these are the first three columns in the table represents the characteristic table of required flip-flop. In the characteristic table of required flip-flop, the first column is the input column. So, that is the D. Next one, present state. Present state can also be called as Q of T. Present state can also be called as previous output. So, that can be denoted by Q of T. So, next state can also be called as present output. So, that can be denoted by Q of T plus 1. Okay. For finding out Q of T plus 1, the first two columns can be considered as input columns. So, what are the input columns? So, D and Q of T are the two input columns. By using that two input columns, we have to find out the next state. So, with the two inputs, how many number of uh, possible input combinations? So, that is a 2 power n possible input combination where n value is a 2. There are 4 possible input combinations are there. That 4 possible input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, these are the 4 possible input combination. Now, we have to find out the next state for each and every possible input combination. So, D value 0 and Q of T value 0, what is the next state? So, that is a 0. Next, D value is 0, Q of T value is 1. So, what is the next output, next state output? So, that is also 0. Next one, D value 1 and Q of, Q of T value 0. What is the Q of T plus 1 value? 1. Next, D value 1 and Q of T value is 1. The next state output value is 1. So, simply we can say that Q of T plus 1 column contains the output values same as D input values. So, D value 0, Q of T plus 1 value 0. D value 0, Q of T plus 1 value 0. D value 1, Q of T plus 1 value 1. D value 1, Q of T plus 1 value 1. So, in the D flip-flop, whatever the input values we have to provide, 
the same input values can be obtained as the next state output values. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Whatever the input we have to apply in the deep flip flop, the same input value can be obtained as the output value. Now, next one, next column is flip flop inputs of the available flip flop. So, here the available flip flop is JK flip flop. In the JK flip flop, how many number of inputs are there? Two inputs are there, J and K. Okay. So, to find out the J value and K value, we have to consider Q of T and Q of T plus 1 are the two input columns for finding out J value and K value. So, now the last three columns represents the excitation table. Excitation table of JK flip flop. Excitation table of JK flip flop. First three columns represents the characteristic table of available flip-flop. The last three columns represents the excitation table of JK flip-flop. For finding out the J and K, uh, J and K input values, we have to consider Q of T and Q of T plus 1 columns can be considered as input columns. By using that input columns, we have to find out the J value and K value. For that one, we have to see the excitation table of JK flip flop. If Q of T value 0, Q of T plus 1 value 0, then we are getting J value 0 and K value is don't care. Next one, if Q of T value is 1 and Q of T plus 1 value is 0, so then don't care, J value is don't care and K value is 1. Next one, Q of T value 0, Q of T plus 1 value is 1. So then, J value is 1 and K value is don't care. Next, Q of T value 1, Q of T plus 1 value 1. So then we are getting J value is don't care and K value is 0. How we are writing the uh, excitation table of JK flip-flop? Please refer that previous video that is a JK flip flop. So in the JK flip flop, first we have to write the uh, characteristic table. From that characteristic table, how to write the excitation table? Please refer the JK flip flop video. From that video, we have to how to write excitation table of JK flip flop. So this can be easily understand by watching the video JK flip flop video. Okay. In the same way, how to get the next state uh, output value for deep flip flop? Please see the previous video deep flip flop video. Then you can easily understand how to get this next state value from the D and Q of T values. You can easily understand and also excitation table of deep flip flop is also there in that same video. Please refer deep flip flop video in the previous videos. Okay, next. Once we are constructing step 2 and step 3. So, step 2 is first 3 columns. Step 3 means last 3 columns. Okay, then we can go for step 4. In the step 4, we have to find out the Boolean expression for J and K columns. J and K columns. Okay. So, here in the J column, so these are the outputs. In the K column, these are the outputs. Based on that output, we have to find out the Boolean expression for J and K. So, here to find out the Boolean expression using K map, which K map we have to use. So, here D and Q of T columns. These two columns can be considered as input columns. How many number of variables are there? D and Q of T. Two variables are there. So that we have to use two variable column of map. So this is column of map for J. So here two variable corner of map I am taking 
in that two variable carnap map so these are the two variables d and q of t so d and q of t so these are the two input variables so that we have to use two variable carnap map d can take zero value and one value q of t can take either zero value or one value okay now in the same way we have to write the carnap map for k carnap map for k here we are also use the two variable carnap map the two inputs are d and q of t it can take either zero value or one value next observe the j column in the j column we are considering only don't guess and ones okay where don't guess and ones are present in j column for first here don't care is there the corresponding input combination is 0 1 0 1 d value 0 q of t value 1 so d value 0 q of t value 1 so this is the 0 1 0 in the 0 1 column we have to write this is a 0 row and the 1th column we have to write don't care next one here 1 is the, the corresponding input combination d value 1 and q of t value 0 so d value 1 and q of t value 0 we are placing 1 next one here don't care is the, the corresponding input combination d value 1 and q of t value 1 so here d value 1 and q of t value 1 here we have to place don't care okay so now we are uh, pairing so one comma don't care so don't care means it contains either zero value or one value here one is there suppose in the place of don't care one is there this one and don't care can be formed as a pair we are concentrate only on covering of ones covering of ones here only single one is there if second one is present these two ones can be formed as a pair so don't care can be considered as a one so this one and this one can be formed as a pain. So this don't care, please ignore that don't care. Okay. This don't care is not required. Suppose here one is there, this one and don't care can be formed as a pain. But here one is not present. So please ignore this don't care. So then what is the expression we are getting? So J is equal to here D and Q of T. So this one means d value 1 and q of t value 0. So this one means, this don't care means here 1, here 1, d value 1 and q of t value 1. So any column contains a combination of zeros and 1s, we have to ignore that column. So q of t column is ignored, d column is considered because it contains only 1s. So in that uh, d column, d value 1 means we are getting d. So therefore, the Boolean expression for J is D. Next one. Carnap map for K. So in the Carnap map for K, observe the K column. In that K column, where the ones and don't cares are present. Here, this don't care is there. The corresponding input combination is D value 0 and Q of T value 0. D value 0, Q of T value 0, put don't care. Next one, here 1 is present. The corresponding input combination is D value 0 and Q of T value 1. D value 0, Q of T value 1, placing 1. Next one, here don't care is present. The corresponding input combination is D value 1 and Q of T value 0 d value 1 and q of t value 0. In the same way, this one and this don't care can be formed as a pair and please ignore this don't care. Okay. So then what is the expression we are getting? d and q of t. So this don't care means d value 0 and q of t value 0. This one means d value 0, q of t value 1. So in this 
In these two columns, Q of T column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. D column contains only zeros, so that we have to consider that column. In that column, D value zero means it is a D bar. So therefore, the expression for uh, K is equal to D bar. So once we are getting the expression for J and K, then in the step 5, we have to write the uh, circuit diagram for JK to D flip-flop conversion. So in that circuit diagram, first we have to mention the available flip-flop. What is the available flip-flop? JK flip-flop. So that first we have to draw the JK flip-flop diagram. So this is a J input and this is a K input and this is a QN or a Q of T. Either one we have to write. No problem at all. So this is QN bar. So QN is nothing but Q of T. Okay. QN bar is nothing but Q of T bar. There is no problem at all. We have to write either Q of N or a Q of T. Next one. What is the expression for J? So J is equal to D. First I am taking input D. So this input is equivalent to J. Next one, what is the value for K? What is the Boolean expression for K? That is a D bar. So, so D value I am taking, we have to write one not get. It becomes D bar. D bar input is connected to this one. So this is the equivalent JK to D flip-flop conversion circuit diagram. So this is a clock. So this is a Q of N or Q of T. Q of N bar R, Q of T bar. So this is the circuit diagram. Circuit diagram for JK to D flip-flop conversion. So in this way, we have to find out the Boolean uh, we have to find out the circuit diagram for JK to D flip-flop conversion. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So this is the Srinivasarao. The remaining flip-flop conversions you want, please refer that channel and go to the playlist called DID or STID or Digital Electronics Playlist. Okay. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.